Hey folks, welcome back to the kitchen. Roll out the red carpet. Tonight's a huge night. You're hosting the coveted dinner party. Now stop, before you freak out and throw little mini quiches in the oven, I'm gonna walk you through how to make some tasty and simple dishes that are so easy to put together so you have more time to put yourself together. I partnered with Bertoli Olive Oil who sponsored this video so I can show you three easy entertaining recipes that are sure to impress your guests by using the full range of top quality olive oils, each with a distinct flavor profile. You might even get that five star review. You're welcome. Let's cook. Okay, so in a stainless steel saucepan on high heat, we're gonna add our Bertoli Rich Taste Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Bring that up to temp. Take our cubed pancetta and add that to the pan first. You wanna hear that sizzle, that crisp immediately. Get a rubber spatula and stir it around. Then we're gonna add our chopped onion. And our garlic, give it a good stir. Now what's perfect is because of the fruitier flavor of this olive oil, it pairs perfectly with that fatty pancetta. But also because of its smoke point being in the mid 300 Fahrenheit, we can still get a crispiness on the pancetta, which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm gonna cook this for another two minutes. I'm gonna keep stirring the pot because I wanna make sure that garlic and onions don't burn. I'm gonna reduce the heat to about medium low so I can still render out the fat but still get the pancetta nice and crispy. I'm gonna add some cut heirloom baby tomatoes to the pan. Turn the temperature up just to a medium high. I let this cook for about five minutes so that the tomatoes can start to break down. So now that the tomatoes have kind of burst open with flavor into that pancetta and olive oil, I'm gonna add the juice from half a lemon or some acidity, and my white beans. So I wanna make sure that this gets really well mixed around before I add some water, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of sea salt, and then I'm gonna let it cook on low for about eight minutes. All right, I've cut this nice toasted baguette into medallions. I'm gonna grab our bean ragu, and I'm just gonna spoon a very healthy amount on top of each one like so. Grate a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese right over top. So I like to use Bertoli Bold Taste Olive Oil specifically to finish this dish. I'm an intense dude. I like to express my intensity via olive oil drizzle game, but it's cool. If you're mild at heart, there is literally a style and flavor of Bertoli Extra Virgin Olive Oil to suit your taste. All right, I have brought a pot of water up to boil. I'm going to add half a head of cauliflower and half a lemon and let it cook for about five or six minutes. I want that cauliflower to be super tender. I've strained the cauliflower. I'm gonna add it to this food processor. I'm gonna add Bertoli Mild Taste Extra Virgin Olive Oil to the food processor as well. And some sea salt, a little bit of heavy cream and some ricotta cheese to give it a little extra creaminess. And blend it on a low setting for a nice, smooth consistency. This is that perfect, delicate, extra virgin olive oil that adds flavor without overpowering the creaminess of the cauliflower. <laughs> All right, I've got this cast iron pan heating on high now I'm gonna add Bertoli's mild tasting extra virgin olive oil to it. So while my olive oil is heating in that cast iron, I'm gonna use paper towel and I'm gonna pat these scallops dry. You want no moisture. And I'm gonna season the scallops with sea salt so that when they do sear in the pan, they get that beautiful crust on them. All right, I'm gonna let these scallops sear in that olive oil for about three to four minutes aside so I get that perfect crust. All right, time to plate. I'm gonna take that pureed cauliflower and get it down on the base of our plate here. Now I'm gonna take those seared scallops and just place them on the cauliflower puree like so. And season it with some black pepper, a little bit more sea salt and some chives. Give it some color. And to finish off this dish, I'm gonna use a drizzle of the bold extra virgin olive oil and adds body and depth to that subtle scallop.
We are going to cut these peaches into quarters and then remove the pits and then toss them in this bowl with the Bertoli light olive oil. Because of the higher smoke point on this olive oil, I can get a great grill mark on the peach without actually overcooking it and making it soft. Now I'm gonna preheat my cast iron grill pan on high and grill these peaches for about two to three minutes. The sugars and the hot oil are what caramelize and make that flavor come through and the grill marks. All right, so now that we have that nice sear grill mark on these peaches, we can remove them from the pan and just transfer them to a board. And we're gonna make the basil pesto that's gonna be drizzled right over top of these. I've got this whole clove of garlic that I'm gonna throw into the mortar and pestle. About four or five generous sprigs of fresh basil. And in a circular motion, I'm just gonna crush everything and get it all together. Now we're gonna turn this into a paste by adding the bold extra virgin olive oil and just give it one last circular motion. Now I'm gonna transfer these beautiful grilled peaches to the bowl. All right, and then I'm gonna rip this buffalo mozzarella, add it to the bowl with these grilled peaches. Now I'm going to drizzle that basil pesto that's infused with that bold olive oil kind of right over the peaches and the cheese. Of course a little bit of salt just to taste. Ta-da! Ta-da! Well there you have it folks, three simple yet incredibly delicious entertaining recipe ideas perfect for adulting with friends. A big thanks to Bertoli for sponsoring this video and to you for watching and cooking along at home. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and in the comments below, let me know your favorite thing to cook when you're entertaining with friends. Ciao!